how do I read text from a text file into a C Sharp application? Well, to do this, one can use the stream reader object found within the system IO namespace. To give a demonstration of this, we could start a new sample project. We'll start a new console application. And we'll look into the system IO namespace. We'll add a using for system.io. And with this namespace now open, we can gain access to the stream reader object. I'll make a variable of stream reader type, and I'll call that variable reader. I'll also, also go ahead and instantiate a new instance of stream reader. And as I am creating it, I'll specify what file I would like to open. Let me very quickly look at this folder here I have under C, CS. We have a README text file. If we open up that up, we can see that it's the README for a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller. So as we can see here, there is a lot of text, and we can use this text as an example for loading inside of C Sharp. So knowing that that file is on the C drive, we'll initialize the stream reader with the text C colon backslash CS README.txt. So in this way, we've specified what file to open as the stream reader is created. Now that we have the stream reader instantiated, we can turn around and read lines from that text file. I'll do that inside of a while loop so that we can read the entire text file. So I'll set up a while loop that is set to continue running as long as we have not reached the end of our file. To do this, I'll run the while loop while not reader dot end of stream. So as long as we have not reached the end of the stream, we continue reading. Now to gain access to the individual lines, we'll tell the reader to read line by line. So that is reader dot read line inside of this while loop. Now of course this simply returns a string, and if we wish to have this outputted to the screen, we can use our console object, and let's see, grabbing console with an N, and telling our console object to write lines out to the screen, we can see the result from that read line operation. Once this is done, I'm going to turn around and tell our console to read a line after everything is read out, just so that execution is held up and we can read the results. Um, one other thing we should do once we're done with the stream reader is dispose of it to make sure that any file handles it holds internally are released. And we can do that by telling the reader to dispose, and therefore ending off anything that would, would have been held inside of it. So with this, we can now run the application, and we see all of that text from that readme text file is now dumped into our console window output, showing that we are in fact reading the text file. So, that'll wrap up this short video.